Let's talk about the HackRF and Q-Spectrum Analyzer. Uh, both, both set of tools uh, are built into Dragon OS. Uh, you need firmware 2017 or higher on the HackRF to be able to utilize uh, the HackRF Suite function, uh, which will tie into Q-Spectrum Analyzer. You can see the GitHub page here for Q-Spectrum Analyzer, some of the screenshots. Uh, what I'm mostly interested in is the HackRF sweep, which we can use the HackRF uh, to sweep at a rate of, they've got eight gigahertz here a second over uh, the entire uh, zero to six gigahertz, roughly, uh, that the HackRF offers. So before we get started, uh, I'll show you on my end with HackRF underscore info. I do have the latest firmware, but we're going to go ahead and pretend I don't. Quick search uh, online should bring you to uh, the GitHub page I'm looking at here, which talks about updating the firmware on the HackRF. You can see it talks about uh, the directory of the latest package. If you click on that, it will bring you to the latest releases, which in this case here we got 2018. You can double click on the zip file, save it. It will save to your uh, home, whatever username that you created, downloads, which is where I'm sitting at right now anyways. Uh, we can run unzip HackRF. It's going to make a directory there. Now, if you have a look over here, it's going to give you the commands that you need to run uh, both for the SBI Flash firmware and the CPLD. You can dig around uh, in the, the actual folder structure there, but I'll show you here. Now, I use tab to help complete out what it is I'm looking for. We got firmware bin, hackrf bin. Now it really just depends on where you're sitting. If you feel more comfortable navigating into the firmware bin folder and looking for that file and running the initial part of this command, really you're just telling it to write that to the HackRF. I hit enter. That wrote, uh, did the firmware portion. You come down here to step two. You can see the command we're looking at there. Dash X. Again, I'll go looking around in my, this time the firmware, CPLD, SGPIO, default give you a second there we hit enter it's flashing should tell you to power on and power off the or power off power on I will just unplug the hack RF plug it back in on my hack RF info again I see it recognizes it the firmware is up to date there you go. That's all you have to do for that part. Everything else I made simple. Come down, go to other, Q Spectrum Analyzer. We come here, settings. I'm looking for HackRF Suite. There's some additional parameters that you can change. I'm not gonna change anything when you set that. It automatically puts the start and stop frequencies in there, you can adjust those. You can turn on max hold, averaging. I'll go ahead and hit start. Now I have, uh, let me see. Oh, the antenna on the HackRF is uh, uh, LTE. Uh, I, I can't remember the lower and upper end uh, range of that antenna, but it's, uh, it's for cellular. And now you can see you're sweeping across that whole range You can stop it, you can narrow it down to, say you wanted to look at uh, 
Wi-Fi, which let's so. Yet yeah, another tool that's built into there. It's fairly easy to get up and running. Uh, as long as you have a fairly new HackRF, you're probably already set with the firmware, but just double check. Get your firmware uh, 2017 or later, and then you can use uh, this tool that's built in.